Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I really am glad you're here. Appreciate you watching and my intention is that this message really gives you some support, confirmation, maybe some insight into what you may be going through. And the topic of today's video is you're socially anxious because you're different now. So with my, this video comes up because my current situation as I'm going through this transition, you know, I'm, I'm reading, I'm writing, I'm reflecting pretty much every day, I'm making videos almost every day. And in that reflection, right, we often gain some insight as to whatever discomfort we're going through and whatnot. And I just thought I wanted to talk about social anxiety a little bit. <clears throat> and it's funny because I wrote down a lot of notes here, but I kind of feel like I'm just supposed to you know, just kind of speak what's on my mind, my heart, and just let it rip. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this, you're probably a bit anxious. And you're in a major transformation and transition in your life. Or you have been transforming, working on yourself for a life for a while now. Or you might be socially anxious and you don't really understand why. And you're like, man, why am I so uncomfortable around people? Why am I you know, unsure of myself and just always have this knot in my chest and I don't really speak or, you know, all these things. And so we're going to talk about it. If you're also watching this, you've noticed lately that everything seems different. How you think, how you act, how you speak, how you're viewing the world. Maybe you look different physically now. You're just noticing your world kind of changing and everything seems a little bit different. And you're seeing things in a different light because you're now different because you've been working on yourself. You're waking up, you're transforming your life. You want something better for yourself. And as you want something better for yourself, now that you're waking up, the things that used to interest you and resonate with you are no longer doing that. You may find yourself now being aware that, oh my gosh, all these, you know, all my girlfriends, the people I was hung around with, it's just about like gossip and you know, talking about superficial stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's all good, right? Teach their own. And now you're just not interested in that. You know, if you're a dude, maybe, and this is me, right? I'll give some plenty of examples of myself. You know, maybe you used to be the dude who was in like three fantasy football leagues and you watch every sport and you know, all the teams and their coaches and their backups and their stats. And I could just give, you could care less about sports in general or any of that stuff. That's me. And you've been working on yourself for a while. You've been reading books. Maybe you started a new exercise routine, maybe going to some seminars or workshops, things like that. And so for a while now, you either are just starting to wake up or you have woken up and you just want something better for your life. And you've realized again, the people around you mainly, you've noticed that, you know, God bless them. You still love them. You always will, you know, keep them in your life. You know, they teach their own to discern how to handle your own individual situation. But you just notice that they're not really growing or they're not interested in doing anything different. You know, you used to go out every weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, Sunday brunch, drink a bunch, uh, you know, with your boys or your friends and go out and try to hook up with girls. Or, you know, if you're a girl, you just go out and you'd want to party all the time and do all that stuff. And that's all good. I mean, that was me for a really long time. But again, now that you've woken up, you're like, man, what am I doing? Like, I'm just wasting money. I wake up all hungover. I don't feel that good. I just want something different for my life. Or, you know, whatever, maybe you've just been bored for a long time and you did everything you were told, you went to school, you got a good career, maybe you're married, you have kids now, but again, you're just not satisfied. Not that these you're not grateful for these things and you're not grateful for your life, but you just know that there's something more. Again, you are waking up, you're waking up and you understand that there's so much more out there to life than girls, to partying, to drinking, to getting, you know, attention on social media, to you know, just uh, climbing the corporate ladder. You just want something different for yourself. You're like, this can't be it, and it's not. So what does this have to do with social anxiety? All these changes in your life, you're waking up and you're changing. And as you're changing, you're becoming a different person. You're becoming that version of you that's the best version of you that's creating that most ideal life and situation. So as you're creating a new version of you, you're changing, you've taken off the mask that you've always worn. You were always the the jock, the ladies man, the, you know, um, the cool guy and stuff. That was like the mask I wore for a while, right? And then, you know, you might be the girl who's like, you know, you're, you're the girl that, um, 
you know, you're friends with everyone, you know, you got all the hookups, you know, every uh, guy at every club can get you in, and your girls to the front, you know, all that stuff, right? There's nothing wrong with all that stuff. Again, you know, don't take it out of context. But now, you realize the mask that you were wearing for so long, but you're aware of it, and you've taken off the mask, you're becoming more authentic. You're becoming you, and here's the weird irony about it is you're more confident in who you are because you care less about what people think because you're discovering who you are. At the same time, you don't really know who that is yet. So it's this weird conundrum on this uh, dichotomy of two worlds that you're walking right now. So if you're like me, and this message is resonating with you so far, and I'm sure that it is if you've made it this far a couple minutes into the video, what I've noticed for myself is that, holy crap, I'm socially anxious because I'm vulnerable right now. I'm the real me and I've taken off the mask. So when I go to talk to people, I'm not interested in small talk anymore. I'm not interested in, you know, again, nothing against it. I'm not interested in talking about, um, you know, the latest trades in the major in major league baseball or whatever you're into, right? Or, you know, if uh, every, all the shows everyone's up on and stuff. And again, there's nothing wrong with this stuff, right? Uh, we're just talking about transformation, change, and outgrowing the old and why it may be leading to social anxiety. And for me, again, taking the mask off, in one of the biggest and most powerful transformations and transitions of my life, I am by the day changing and molding into the man that I want to be and I'm capable of being. But in that, I'm vulnerable, I'm authentic, I'm being me. And we can't help but wonder, man, I wonder if they're gonna like me, I wonder you know, if I'm accepted, because it's scary because the armor is off. You're not putting up this facade anymore, this is the real you. Again, another duality of that is, now that you're becoming authentically you, you actually really don't care as much what people think. But at the same time, it's like, for me anyways, I it's like I didn't I don't know how to be necessarily with people as the new version of myself. And I realized that because I'm not fake anymore and I don't really want to small talk, I don't really feel like engaging in a lot of the conversations people are interested in having. Um, and they can take that however they want, but it's like, okay, well, what do I do here? You know, I really don't feel like talking about this stuff, so I just usually stay quiet, right? And again, a lot of people will think all they want about it, but it really doesn't matter, and that's what I'm here to say, you know? So you have this social anxiety because you're changing by the day, you're in a major transition, you're in a major transformation, you're different. And the mask that you used to put up and how you used to be in social situations is no longer there because you're not wearing the mask. So you've been that person for so long, this facade, and now that that facade's not there, it's kind of like, well, shit, what do I do? Like, what do I, and then here's the answer, you don't have to do anything. You just have to identify and embrace that this is what's happening, that you're going through a transition, that everything is changing because you're changing, and that you don't know how to be, and that you don't have to be anything for anyone, you can just be you. And it's weird because, as simple and weird as it sounds, most people are scared to be themselves, and that's why we put up these facades. We wear the hat of, you know, oh, I'm the wealthy business owner, or oh, I'm the hot girl who can get any guy, and I got all the hookups, or, you know, um, I'm this super smart dude and know all the facts and the knowledge about all this stuff. So, you know, we become these people, right? Or, you know, my identity is my, as I'm a mother, and it's like, okay. And what most people don't understand about identity is that, yes, these are aspects of you, but it's not who you really are underneath that. And the example, I guess, that popped into my mind, and you moms will know this, and um, I mean, people just, you know, should, you'll understand what I'm saying anyways. That's where like postpartum depression comes from, I think. You know, it's these mothers who have, their life has been consumed by their children, as it should, because I think being a mother is one of the most important, if not the most important jobs in the entire world, seriously. Um, but that's another deal, but you're, you know, you've raised your kids, you've devoted your entire life to raising your kids, now they're out of the house, and your identity, the mask that you were wearing was mother, but now that they're gone, it's like, well, who am I, right? And you go to this period of loneliness, same people who retire, right? You see people who retire and if they don't have a plan, this guy was Jack the engineer for 60 years, or maybe, no, whatever, 50, 40, 50 years, now he's not Jack the engineer, he's just Jack, but he's like, well, who is Jack? He's like, well, who am I without my job? And that happens with a lot of people, right? And so they go into this depression because they don't know what to do with themselves because they've lost their identity. So these things that we do, these roles that we play are not you, they're aspects of you. You are a mother, you are an aunt, you are a uh, social worker, you are a caretaker, you are a, an esthetician, you are a whatever, an engineer, um, you, know, you are a father, you are a brother, 
Um, you know, you are a friend. You are a captain of your rec softball league, right? These are just aspects of you, things you're engaging in your life, but it's not really you. And so in this process of transformation, it's not about learning more. You're uncovering who you are. You're taking off all the masks and the facades. Now you're bare. Now you're vulnerable. Now you're authentic. Now you're real, which feels amazing because there's this incredible sense of freedom and power, but there's an adjustment period because you're not used to being that version of you and you're still changing. So now when you're in social situations, again, the roles you used to play, the way you used to talk and act and think and behave is no longer applicable because you realize that you were wearing a mask. So it's now just like, well, what do I do? How do I do this? Like, how's the new me go about this? I don't know. And again, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to be anyone you don't have to say anything you know you uh and and it's a challenge for us because many people are asleep and they are putting on the mask and when you don't engage the way that they expect you to engage a lot of people like to make you wrong for it right and we've talked about this with your goals and stuff too about how it's triggering to them it's the same thing sometimes when you really reach the next level of authenticity and love within yourself if you're not doing what everyone else is doing you know, it's very easy to give into the peer pressure and societal uh, norms and, and public shaming, you know, and guilt tripping that really goes on with a lot of people, unfortunately, uh, because you're not doing what everyone else is doing. So they want to make you feel uncomfortable. But in reality, it's because they feel uncomfortable because they're not being real. And so you're showing them an aspect of themselves. So it's really the challenge is to remain in your integrity and ground into your heart about who you are and just keep it real with yourself and understand that other people with responses are in a no it doesn't really have anything to do with you especially when you're authentic and confident when the mirror is off or when the uh, mask is off and the mirror is being fully shown you're simply showing themselves aspects of themselves that they're uncomfortable with because now you're a mirror you're authentic so it's just like yeah you know whatever it's all good um so now I'm just going to read some of this stuff. Yeah, because I wrote down a lot of this. You were unhappy with how life was, so you started trying to figure it out. Why am I unhappy with the life I have? I went to college. I got married. I have kids. I have a good job. I have a 401k, and I'm still unhappy and unfulfilled because you know that there's so much more to life than just that. Again, that's just an aspect, and you're reaching for more potential within yourself because you've awakened. So now that you try to figure it out, you love your friends, but you've noticed they're doing just the same thing. And for the most part, not really growing or writing. And that's all good. There's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, I have so many groups of friends that, you know, they still love to go out party on the weekends and all these things. Um, and that's all good for them. Each, everybody lives their own life. And then some of my friends chose the family route and they're married and they have kids and stuff. And that's all good. Like whatever. Everyone's just, we're all on our own journey, you know? Um, but now that you've noticed that you're just not into the same things as much, you still like them but they're not a focus on what those things are. Example, sports. Like I said, or going out all the time. You're just not interested in those things. Your life is different now because you're very different now because you've been working on yourself. You've been waking up. You're discovering and becoming more self-aware and improving your life as a result of that, which is the best thing you can do. And it feels like you're just getting started with what you want. You may have that feeling right now too, like, man, now that I'm awake and I'm starting to break free of all the chains of the past, it's like, damn, let me sit here and think, what is it I do really, do I really want? I've always done what everyone else has told me to do. I've always been who everyone else wanted me to be so I could be accepted. But now that you're breaking away from that, it's kind of like, man, what do I do with that? This is where the social anxiety comes in. Again, you're adjusting to being a new authentic version of yourself and society people mostly, whether it's friends, families, coworkers, etc., just people, not as much people that don't know you because that's the only, that's, just, they're automatically making up a new story based on the short interaction with new people, but old people in your life or people have known you, um, you know, they're whatever their opinions are just painting their own picture of you, uh, based on the past. So it feels like you're just getting started with what you want. You're uncovering in the layers. You're tapping into what it is you truly want, who you really are, what your potential is. What do you want your life to be like? You also could just be in a place of reflection or maybe you're someone watching this video and you've wanted to make these changes. You're becoming um, awake and you're just like, well, how do I make these changes? Where do I start? You know, you just can't stay where you're constantly at anymore. What does this have to do with social anxiety? The old you is wearing a mask and I've, I'm, I'm just reading these notes. Obviously, I've talked about some of this stuff already. 
what does this have to do with social anxiety? The old you was wearing a mask. Now you're more authentic. You're being you. You really don't care what other people think or at least care as much about what other people think. Now that the mask is off, you're authentic and vulnerable. And that's the scary part. That's why there's some anxiety because it's like, are people going to accept me as the real me? But the reality is, and again, the duality, it's weird. It's like, you don't really care because you're really being you, but yet there's still this old remnant of the way that you used to be that's been ingrained in your mind. There's a time of transition and adjustment as we learn to be authentic in a world that is wholly, for the most part, at least from my experience, inauthentic. Everyone's putting on a mask to try to be someone to try to put up a front so they can get what they want or be viewed in a certain light. And you're just not about that anymore. You can't be who you were or you can't be how you were, but being you now is unsettling. It's because you don't know how to be the real you or you're not used to being the real you. That's why you feel socially anxious. You're like, what is, what is the real me doing in this situation? I don't really want to talk about the Kardashians anymore. I don't really want to gossip about Lisa and her new boyfriend. I don't really want to focus on fantasy football and, you know, play video games all day. I don't really want to, you know, X, right? Fill in the blank. You're changing. And even though you're more authentic and don't care what people really think, you're anxious. You're not used to it. You don't want to talk about the same things or different, uh, you have different interests. So what do you do about it now? You embrace it. You embrace the discomfort. You embrace the anxiety armed with the knowledge and understanding that you're in a transition and it's uncomfortable and unsettling because you're literally morphing into a better version of yourself. Be aware that you don't know what that version is like. You're creating him or her right now. So embrace the uncertainty, embrace the discomfort. This means you're on the right track to changing your life, building your vision, becoming the version of you who you want to be because it's uncomfortable. It's a new version. You've never done this before. So when your life is like how you want it to be, you've never lived that life. So you don't know what the version of you is going to be like as you get there. You just know that it's going to be better. So it's all uncertainty and that's where anxiety comes from. It's the fear of the unknown. It's the fear of the uncertainty. So we've got to embrace it. Embrace it. Stay focused on what you want for your life and how you want yourself to be. Allow yourself to be uncomfortable. You're growing. You're changing. The mask is off, but you just don't know how to be with people because you've worn that mask for so long. Now you're getting to know the new you, the real you. You're setting boundaries. You're authentic. You're becoming lighter, more sensitive, healed. Maybe your diet is changing. Certainly your perspective, the way your mind is uh, changing. Maybe your taste in uh, entertainment is changing. Your taste in music, all these things. You're, be you're evolving. You're becoming a new, better version of you. And the people that used to be in your life or are in your life, but you can feel the disconnect now it's because they're not growing and they're not changing and there's nothing wrong with that. This is about you though, becoming a better version of yourself. That's where the anxiety comes from. Keep going. You know, you're on the right track when you're uncomfortable. Let the growth happen. Uh, what is that? Organically. Let the growth happen organically. You read my own writing over here. So again, what does this have to do with social anxiety? You're uncomfortable because you're a new you, so you don't necessarily know how to be in new situations. You don't have to be anything. You're doing the right thing. You're being you. You're just not used to it, so it's uncomfortable. Allow yourself to be uncomfortable and just be you. When we get over this hump, and I think it'll always be there, but we go in waves and we learn how to kind of be the new us, you'll be less anxious. You'll be more comfortable with yourself. Just let things be. You're not bothered by the same things anymore. This is growth. It's beautiful. Be with the discomfort. Remind yourself you have nothing to prove and you don't have to explain yourself. And that's where a lot of this comes in. You're anxious because you want people to like you even though you don't really care as much, but that's old programming. And so you sometimes you feel, you know, we, we want to slip back and be the old version of us because we're trying to make people feel comfortable because now we're highly sensitive. Now you're aware of how people are uncomfortable with the real you. Again, it has nothing to do with you. You're just stripped off the mask and you're a mirror for them and they don't like looking at themselves so they're uncomfortable. That's okay. It's got nothing to do with you. Focus on what you want. You'll adjust as you continue to get used to the new you. You'll meet people in, that like and accept the new you, even if, especially if, it's old friendships. Uh, that's Those are the things that wanted to make you wrong, right? Because they're uncomfortable because they're seeing you change and they don't like it. They just want you to stay the same, but you know that you can't. You have to understand that this transition the anxiety that you have is actually a gift because what's happened is you have a heightened 
awareness. You have a heightened sensitivity of emotions, of intentions, of people's energy. You don't just listen to what they say. You know exactly what they're thinking based on how they say it, how they're standing, just everything. And even the things they're not saying, you just know because you're highly sensitive, you're highly aware. This is the new you because when you strip off your own mask and you become to know yourself, you can easily see it on other people. That's why you're noticing all these things. What's important is that you don't judge them for where they're at in their journey just because you're evolving and growing because then you fall into that whole spiritual ego trap. I'm holier than now because I'm working on myself and I've awakened. I've fallen into that trap many times. Sometimes I still do and I check myself, man. That's why humility is so important. So embrace the anxiety, embrace the unknown and discomfort embrace the new you you don't have to do anything you don't have to prove yourself you don't have to explain yourself you don't have to justify anything you don't have to do anything that was the old you that was needing approval because you were unhealed because you felt unloved and unworthy you felt unloved and unworthy so you felt you always had to do these things say these things act a certain way be friends with whatever date all these chicks get the hot guy that makes all this money whatever it is for you because you felt you had to prove yourself now that you're authentic, you know you don't have to do that, but it's also uncomfortable because again, there's societal and peer pressures from, uh, you know, in our environment. And most importantly, this is all new for you, but just embrace it, be anxious, be uncomfortable. And again, when you go into the feeling of the anxiety, the discomfort, the tightness in your chest, the tightness in your throat, the high shoulders, the frozen, you know, posture, whatever, you, you know, holding your, not wanting to speak your truth, all these things, it's a new you takes time so just be patient and embrace this but do not go backwards and think you have to change for anybody just continue to focus on what you want for your life and who you want to be two quotes i dropped for today or wrote down nobody realizes that some people expend tremendous energy merely to be normal you know i always say like and again there's nothing wrong with this if this is you you know all these um like pop phrases in the lexicon right uh in the collective lexicon um you know all these sayings right like uh these these fads always pop up in mainstream language where and again there's nothing wrong with you if you use these if you use these sayings or you dress like everyone else and you're into trends and stuff but that's what that's what this quote is about everyone's spending so much energy just to be like everybody else because they want to be liked so they want to say the same things. They want to dress a certain way. Um, like my dad's substitute teaching. He's retired. He's substitute teaching and stuff. And we we're talking about like how much everything's changed and you know the styles and like everyone talks the same. Everyone dresses the same. Everyone's got to have you know this and that. And that was me. We've all gone through that stage. Maybe you still are, and that's okay too. But you're watching this video because you've woken up. But do not go back. Everyone's spending so much time just to keep up this act to be normal to be like everyone else so they're not judged because they're insecure of who they really are because they've never looked underneath the hood you're not like that anymore but it's still uncomfortable because you're changing you're in a transition once again so quit trying to be normal be you right like everyone's you know like what was it uh you know everyone's like oh bet like i don't you know who knows who said that where it's coming from it's like oh bet oh man you got was it riz and like all these things and like Everyone's trying to be like everyone else, spending all this energy, but the reality is, and the crazy thing is, is they're starving their soul, they're not being really who they are because they don't even realize or aware that they're being like everyone else, they're trying to be like everybody else. And they're trying, the funny thing is, is they're trying to be so unique, but they're being like, they're doing and thinking and talking the same way as everyone else. They want more badly than ever to express their individuality, their own soul, but they're still here trying to be like everyone else so what do they do they try to make themselves better than by being better at what everyone else is doing so everyone's doing the same thing they're just trying to be better at it they're just trying to get more followers they're just you know and again there's nothing wrong with this stuff it's just stuff to be aware of what i've noticed about authenticity in my journey uh but and then the power is when you really become comfortable and authentic in who you are you know it really does trigger a lot of people because they're like damn and, and the weird thing is, is when you start to heal yourself and you, you heal these behaviors and you see these things within yourself, that's part of the sensitivity, the heightened awareness. You can easily see it on everyone else, right? They say to know, um, you know, the saying throughout history, through all the sages and all religions, really, they all have a similar teaching and it's know thyself, right? And, uh, um, you know, we're all gods with the little G, right? We're not, you know, don't take it out of context. We're not Jesus. We're not like these crazy perfect beings, but 
we're gods with little g because we're all creations of God, of, of the one, of all that is, right? The source, whatever you want to call it, whatever he or her or him or it is for you. So if we're all creations of the source, we're manifestations. And since we have consciousness and that's what we've been gifted as human beings, we are conscious creators of our own reality. So we are creators just like God with the little g, right? We are not the source. We're not the one. We're not like, you know, far from perfect. I hopefully you understand what I'm saying, you know, taking out of context. So um, I know some people can get triggered by that. But again, that's their own trigger. Um, so I'm very clear, do my best to be clear with what I mean you know um and then again it's so funny be aware that if that is you it's like oh man you know you think you're better than god or your god or whatever that's blasphemy and stuff dude that is the whole spiritual ego thing right like you we're not holier than thou or holier than anyone else because based on where we're at in our journey we've just awakened and want better for ourselves and when you heal and want better for yourself you start to notice these things because you healed it within yourself um anyways man i'm just kind of going it's so funny how a lot of these times i get on like today i'm really tired i had a really busy long day yesterday and I, I worked on it a little bit today and so I'm just kind of conserving my energy I didn't think I had a, a lot to say but man when this stuff starts coming I you know I just gotta let it go so the second quote is uh you are not weak people like us were brave we're the ones who got up and face our worst fears every day we keep fighting and that's it being awakened being authentic in an otherwise inauthentic world where it's full of, you know, gossip and, um, you know, ego and trying to one up one another and all these things is difficult because the whole of consciousness of humanity has not ascended to the level of awareness yet where we can understand that when you're mean to someone else, you're just being mean to you. And, you know, it's so funny. I always think it's funny two things like people, you know, they'll acknowledge karma and most people will believe in it but yet they're not like living by it and like you'll get upset or treat someone poorly or they'll treat someone poorly even though they understand karma and it's like it's not like oh they'll get theirs it's like no dude by you treating that like that's going to come back to you in some way like don't hurt that other person you you are hurting yourself because you, something's going to come back like that's just how energy works like it is it's it's a reciprocal thing it's just, it's a cyclical thing um you know the other thing kind of a tangent i always think it's funny how like most people will agree on the, uh, I guess, rephrase or whatever, or the idea that we are not humans having a soulful experience. We are souls having a human experience. So most people will acknowledge that and agree with that, that we're this higher being in a human experience, but yet they don't even connect at all with the spiritual because they're so densely, again, hypnotized or asleep in the 3d consciousness in the you know uh the world that we live in and so they completely disregard the spiritual aspect of them but again it's balance wholeness is having both of these come together i'm just kind of spitting randomly now but social anxiety if you have it just embrace it it could be it's mainly social anxiety become comes from the same thing regardless of where you're at in your spiritual journey and level of consciousness social anxiety is you're uncomfortable with who you are so you're worried about how other people are going to receive you and think. So you hold back because you don't quite know how to respond. Now the difference is, are you are experiencing social anxiety because uh, you don't like who you are? And you are uh, trying to be someone to so many other people and it's screwing you over? Or are you socially anxious because you have awakened and you're just not interested in the same things as you used to be in these situations? So it's just new for you. It's unfamiliar. Um, you're still learning how to adjust and be that. So um, I don't know. Those are my thoughts for today, guys. But pull an oracle card. Ooh, let me uncross my legs or my feet. Tap three times to clear the energy. We ask for the purest, the most divine truth, and my highest good, your highest good, and the highest good of the collective. If you're wondering why I didn't want my ankles crossed when I do uh, an oracle card, if any part of my body is crossed, I'm blocking out the energy channel. I'm not open to receive a clear message all the way through. If I'm blocked or something like this, I'm crossed, I'm not open. I need to be open. So uncross the legs, open my body, open my chest, open my mind, my heart, and allow spirits to come through, right, and give us a divine message so we ask for the purest and most divine truth my highest good your highest good and the highest good of the collective what are we talking about today what do you want to say to us what was this one love this one such a beautiful card when this one comes out 
I always feel like there's some great momentum and things happening when this comes out. Number seven, the chariot. Archangel Metatron. He's got Metatron's cube in the front of his chariot. I always say look at the picture first. What image, what color is resonating with you? Is there thoughts, is there reflections coming up within yourself? That's your soul trying to speak to you. So please think about that. Message for today. Determination and self-control. Career advancement. Acknowledgement of success by others. Determination and self-control. Be determined to be you and control the self by being aware. But be determined to be authentic and do not be swayed by other people's thoughts, opinions, energies. Career advancement. Talk, keep, the thread is the more you're authentic, the more you're going to discover what you really want. You're going to start moving towards these things that you want. Working for yourself. Having a fulfilled business. Not working 60, 70 hours a week in a job that you hate. Or maybe you don't hate it, but you're just burnt out. You know something has to change. So career advancement. Or maybe you are getting a promotion one that will really bring in some wonderful abundance. Either way, you're on the chariot. You're moving forward. Acknowledgement of success by others. Maybe you're gaining some recognition for being great at your craft. Uh, there's a lot of good things coming to you for that. So hopefully that resonates with you. Well, it will or it won't. The chariot, extended reading. The chariot is an indicator of great determination and willpower. You may feel uncertainty regarding your success, your situation, unknown anxiety. Ooh, excuse me. But you need have no fear. When this card is present, it's your confirmation from Archangel Metatron that you have what it takes. Step out of your comfort zone and charge bravely ahead with joy and confidence. Step out of your comfort zone and charge bravely ahead with joy and confidence. Be you authentically. A great leap forward is coming your way. It will take balance, self-control, and hard work, but you're ready for the task at hand. We're about to get upgraded, guys. That's what this means for me. The more you're yourself, the more layers of crap and ego that you shed off, and the more authentically you're you, unabashedly, unapologetically, that is law of attraction. You're magnetic. You're attracting who you really are. And what you'll notice, and or if you already have, people will fall out of your life, old friends, family members. Doesn't mean you don't have to ever talk to them again. You're just not aligned anymore because the new you is coming in. When you're authentic, more people like you are coming in. You're vibrating at a different level. You're vibrating at a different frequency. Public recognition for your success is sure to come. Allow yourself to feel pride in what you accomplish. Additional meanings of this card, career advancement, diligence, calm control over equally important but conflicting goals. So I hope that was uh, beneficial to you. I honestly, you know, it's so funny. Again, it's all about reflection, guys. Like even I'm sitting here and reading this video. When I was writing this morning, I went and got myself like just a big old freaking breakfast because I just needed the calories. I'm a little tired right now. And I was just sitting there writing and I was like, man, I was like, I just don't really have anything to write about or anything to talk about or whatever. And anyways, I say that to think, say like it's so funny how the mind works about how we can easily judge ourselves, but don't. Walk forward confidently in the direction of your dreams. And that's all I got for you today, guys. Love you so much. Thank you so much for your support, your feedback. Hope this message resonates with you. Uh, if it did, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel. And if somebody that you know needs to hear this message, please share it with them as well. I will see you next time. Peace and blessings to you all.